Hi, I'm going to tell you about some of the differences between the Flare Classic Espresso Machine and the Flare Pro Espresso Machine. Um, so we've carried the Flare Classic for a while. We have some really great videos on that that I definitely recommend checking out. Um, the Classic retails for $159.99. Um, we have just started carrying, or about to start carrying, the Flare Pro. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. It's $309 versus $159, but it has some really awesome features that I'm going to tell you about that I think really makes it worth the extra money, um, especially if you really want something similar to what you'd get out of a commercial-grade espresso machine. Um, so the first thing you might notice, obviously they're different colors. Uh, this is chrome, but it also has more stainless steel features. So you can see it has this kind of two-piece stainless steel drip tray versus on the Flare Classic, it's this kind of plastic piece. Um, similarly, with the Flare Classic, um, you'll be using the plastic kind of dosing cup as your tamper. Um, if you want, you can upgrade to a stainless steel tamper, but you do have to purchase that separately. Uh, with the Flare, uh, Flare Pro, excuse me, it comes with this kind of handy dandy steel tamper already, gives you a little more heft. Um, another thing it has, is this little silicone uh, dosing kind of tray cup thing. Um, this is really helpful, especially when you're preheating your portafilter, dosing your cup. It's amazing how much use this little piece of silicone has. Um, but the big differences and the things that I think really make the Flare Pro special are the differences between the two portafilters. So I'm just gonna pull these out to show them to you. So the first thing you probably notice is that it has this added pressure gauge. That means that when you're pressing down and creating your shot, you can actually see exactly how many bars of pressure you're exerting. Really helpful if you want to do any kind of pressure profiling, that kind of stuff. Um, but also if you're new to espresso, kind of getting the hang of it, it's a really good way of kind of diagnosing your technique and seeing whether or not you're doing a good job. So another thing you can see, if you just kind of look at them side by side, this has a lot more heft to it. It's much thicker. It's going to do a way better job of kind of retaining heat. You don't have to worry quite as much about preheating it and doing all of that kind of stuff. It's going to keep your water nice and hot. Um, another thing is that it has an expanded brew capacity. So if you actually opened these up, you can dose the Pro much higher. You can dose between up to, I believe, 24 grams in this guy, and you can use up to 75 milliliters of water. So if you want to do like a true double shot, if you want to play around with your brew ratio or brew capacity, you're going to have a much easier time doing that on the Flare Pro. The Classic, uh, you can dose, I believe, up to 20 grams, but it's a little bit tricky to get there, and it's only going to hold about 50 milliliters of water. Um, finally, if you look at the bottom of the portafilters, so with the Flare Classic, it kind of comes out in this little spout right here, so you're just going to see your espresso come out, and that's it. This is a bottomless portafilter, so you can see the whole screen at the bottom um, that your coffee is getting pushed through. Um, this is really helpful for seeing if you're doing a nice even extraction, judging your tamping job, kind of particle distribution with your puck. Um, again, especially if you're just kind of starting out with espresso, I think this is a really awesome, really helpful feature to see, you know, how you're doing with your brewing. Um, so those are the main differences. Again, Flare Classic and the Flare Pro. We're really excited about it.